Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Gababetic. For today's video I'm going to be comparing Freestyle Libra 1 with Freestyle Libra 2, seeing the differences between them and the similarities and then deciding which one I think is better for myself. I've had Freestyle Libra 2 for less than a year now, not too long, and I did have Freestyle Libra 1 before that for about a year and a half. When I got my first Freestyle Libra 2 I did a Freestyle Libra 2 first impressions video, you might have seen that, if not I'll link it down below. But in that video I never really compared it directly to the Freestyle Libra 1, so that's what I'm going to do today. What I'm going to be looking at in this video is the design of the two sensors, the application of both, any advantage one has over the other, and just the overall sensitivity. I'm going to be wearing both and I'm going to see are they really the same accuracy or is one more accurate than the other. I hope you like my video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. But it's time to put on some sensors. To start off, I think we should look at the design of each. These are the original boxes of the readers that I got when I first purchased the Freestyle Libras. You can use your phone to scan the sensors too, but there's a reader option if your phone doesn't work. And also there are some perks of the Freestyle Libra of using a phone and a reader, which I'll talk about later on. But yeah, let's open them up. This is the Freestyle Libra reader, Freestyle Libra 1. So obviously I've opened these boxes before, but this is how it looks. It's all black and it says Freestyle Libra on it. And you get some information in the box too. Freestyle Libra 2 then, when you open it up, it is a actually kind of navy blue monitor and it says Freestyle Libra 2 and Abbott on it. Did get lots of like leaflets and information in this one too, but this is how this looks. So side by side comparison, I'll take the boat out of the box. So side by side then, you can see the two readers are exactly the same size. Only difference really is the colour and the writing on it. One says Libra and one says Libra 2 and Abbott. In both boxes then, you get a charger which you can insert into the top of the reader. Works on both of them to charge them up. And if I turn them on, you can see they are the exact same. They say the same thing, start a new sensor or review. I have no sensors hooked up at the moment. I don't know why the time is different. I'll have to fix the time on that one on the left. But they work exactly the same and you can press this button to turn it off. Okay, so let's move on to the sensors. Right, sensors then, let's have a look. Freestyle Libra on the left, Freestyle Libra 2 on the right. Absolutely no difference besides the two written on it and a kind of a colour difference of this part here. So let's open them up. Okay, first glance on this, first glance on here, exactly the same. So let's take out the contents of each. We've got a leaflet and a leaflet. We have the sensor pack of Libra 1 and we have the applicator. And then we have the sensor pack of Libra 2 and we also have the applicator. As you can see, they are exactly the same. Even written on here, it just says freestyle. Freestyle, it doesn't dictate which is Libra 1 or Libra 2. So again, Libra 1 is on the left, Libra 2 on the right. It is exactly the same. So let's put them on and see if the application process is exactly the same. I'm going to start with freestyle Libra 1 and we're going to put that on my left arm. I did have my last sensor on here. That's why you can see some marking. As usual application process, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because I do it all the time. And if you're a freestyle Libra user, you'll be the same. But I will say if there's any differences between the two. So open it up, get this on here, get the sensor ready. Ready to go. All right, left arm. I'm gonna put it a bit higher up than the last one. That's one ready. Freestyle Libra 2 then. It seems to be exactly the same process. I haven't used Libra 1 in a while, so take off that. Twist this to get it ready. Again, prime the sensor. The sensor is in here now, ready to go. I'm gonna do this on my other arm. And I'll put it a bit lower down on this arm. I'll put it about here. Okay, so two sensors are on. I hope you can see, but I will show you from the back how it looks on each arm. And it looks exactly the same. The two sensors look exactly the same. I'm going to put this sticker on my Libra 2 just for ease of the video and for myself so I don't get confused. So Libra 1 I'll be leaving as a plain one and Libra 2 will be the pink heart sticker. I just went to put on the sticker on the Libra 2 but you can see there that it's bleeding and this does happen sometimes on both sensors. I'm going to clean it up now and put the sticker on and it should be fine but obviously if it kept bleeding I would take it off but I've seen this happen to people on Instagram and it has happened to me before, so I'm not worried about it. So I'm gonna put the sticker on now. Okay, so that was the application of both. Application is exactly the same, but activation of the sensor is when the differences start to come into play, I think. For the purpose of keeping things the same, I'm gonna use the readers for both when I'm comparing the blood sugars because I think that's fair. I will say you can use your phone to activate both sensors and then you can have your blood sugar readings on your phone, which is what I normally do. But the real advantage 
page is with the Freestyle Libre 1. With Freestyle Libre 1, as long as you activate the reader first by scanning it and then your phone, you can have the blood sugar readings on both your phone and the reader. Whereas with Freestyle Libre 2, you can't have your blood sugar readings on both. You can only have them on either your phone or on the reader itself. For some reason, you can't use both which is really a disadvantage because I actually like having the ability to have my readings on both the reader and on my phone just in case like I went out and I forgot either my phone or the reader or sometimes when I have a high blood sugar at night I don't want to be on my phone in the middle of the night so I grab this and then I scan it and I can see my readings on here and I don't really understand why Abbott didn't give the capability on Freestyle Libre 2 because it is an advantage so that is one advantage of the Freestyle Libre 1 is that you can have the blood sugar readings on both the reader and your phone as long as you activate the reader first. Okay, so we're going to activate both using our readers, which is the same for both. We'll start with Freestyle Libre 1. You turn it on, you say start a new sensor. And then all you have to do is tap it off until you hear the noise. And it will say sensor starting up can be used in 60 minutes. And you click OK, then it says they're ready in 60 minutes. That's Freestyle Libre 1 activated. We're going to do it with Freestyle Libre 2. Again, start a new sensor. It's ready. I will tap it off my arm. Same noise again. And you get the same message. The sensor is ready in 60 minutes. And just press OK. And again, it says up there too. So both are actually now activated. We will leave it the 60 minutes and then we'll take the first blood sugar. And then for the next three days, I think I'm going to compare blood sugars and see if they are accurate in comparison to each other. One thing I will talk about before we move on to the actual readings though is an advantage of the Freestyle Libre 2 that you've probably heard Freestyle Libre 2 has alarms and this is something that the Freestyle Libre does not have. So you can set your ranges but basically it will alarm when you're high or when you're low. So my ranges are below like 3.9 for a low blood sugar and a high blood sugar is anything over like 12 and a half. And I will show it later on in the video but you'll see when I have a higher or lower blood sugar this will start to alarm and notify me. And this is a really really big advantage over the Freestyle Libra because you know sometimes you don't feel the low blood sugar, sometimes you don't feel the high blood sugar and you just have this extra bit of reassurance that as long as it's close to you it will notify you with an alarm so i'll show you that later on in the video though but definitely big bonus points for the freestyle lever 2 for that and just to show you alarms will work as long as they are on and your reader is within six meters of you and just to show you here's my alarm settings got my low glucose got my high glucose and signal loss is when it loses communication with the sensor so it just tells you that it's not in range if you wanted to change any of them you just press that button there and to just check the alarms are actually working you just go to settings alarms and then it's there so you can see what you have change them if you needed to and if they were off they would say off as well okay so it's been 60 minutes and as you can see both sensors are ready they say end in 14 days so they will both last 14 days okay this one's already going off to say that i'm having a low glucose alarm and you can see that the other one hasn't done anything so this is the advantage of what i mean with the freestyle lever 2 and you can hear the alarm there so I am going to check my glucose with that and see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to check the glucose. Freestyle Libre 2 is the one on the right. See what this says. Okay, this is saying a really bad hypo of 2.9. I don't feel bad, so we're going to check first on the Freestyle Libre and see what this one says. And this says 4.1. So you can see already there is a difference. That says glucose going low though. This says I'm in low glucose. So. Both of them are saying that I'm going low. I will check on my real monitor now and see which one is more accurate. Okay, so I've got my monitor, which is the AccuCheck mobile monitor. So I will prick my finger and see what this is. Obviously, this is the most accurate reading. So if you're ever in doubt, do just check your actual blood glucose using a monitor. Okay, 4.2 is the actual reading, so the Freestyle Libre 1 was more accurate in that situation. I don't really know why this is saying 2.9, but I'm definitely going low. I can tell from what both readers are saying. So they are both right, but the Freestyle Libre 2 is reading a bit lower than my normal reading, so not really sure why. 
but it is good that it alarms to say you are going low because it's really good to have that notification especially when you're not feeling it yet kind of feeling the low a bit now so i'm gonna have a snack before i do drop it's sunday evening now i will check my blood glucose tonight on both of the freestyle libra one and the freestyle libra two and we'll see the graph that we get overnight and see if they're different or the same and then tomorrow morning i'll check back with you guys and we'll do some blood sugar readings throughout the day for the next three days and we'll see if the freestyle libra two or the freestyle libra one is more accurate so i will see you guys in the morning 7 59 a.m good morning it is the next morning so we're gonna have a look at the graphs on both of the freestyle libra one and freestyle libra two from overnight and it's the first thing in the morning so i'm gonna check my blood sugar on both and see how they compare so first up freestyle libra two okay that's saying 5.2 you can see the shape of the graph on there okay freestyle libra one then this says 4.4 and going down i feel fine so this one does say glucose going low and the other one doesn't i'll do a check on my real monitor and see which is more accurate as far as the graph on both, you can see the Freestyle Libra 2 gives you more of a wider graph to actually look at. It's a bit smaller on the Freestyle Libra 1, but they're roughly the same shape, so it makes me believe that they are reading the same readings. 5.8 then on this. So 5.8 actually means that the Freestyle Libra 2 is reading around the same, but they're both kind of around the same, 4 or 5. One does say going low though. I don't feel like I'm going low, but they're kind of around the same so i'm gonna go eat my breakfast now and i'll catch up with you guys at lunch hey everybody it's lunch time i'm just in the car because i went out to get some food for lunch but quickly because it's roasting i'm gonna do blood sugar so check in with freestyle libra one and it says 8.1 straight across and wow exactly the same 8.1 straight across so they were literally the exact same that's really good for accuracy i am sweating so i'm gonna go really quick and go in and have my lunch and i'll talk to you guys at dinner all right dinner time check so this one's on let's go with the freestyle libra 10.7 12 oh my god mm, that's a bit of a difference also why am i having a spike i don't know let's check on the real blood sugar monitor Okay, so it really is 10.5. Freestyle Libra is more accurate at the moment. I need some insulin anyway. I don't know why I'm going high. I've had a stressful day with work, so maybe that's why. So yeah, we'll check again before bed, but definitely a difference. Later. I had to go to bed and I just scanned both sensors. So Freestyle Libra 1, 6.7 and 7.6. So both around the same. And you can see the graphs for the days are pretty much the same. So we'll do one more day of checking tomorrow and then we will see and compare which one is more accurate. The next morning. Good morning. It is the next day. So I'm going to test my blood sugar. I'm going to go Freestyle Libra 1. Oh, oh, 3.1 not good okay, let's go freestyle libra 2 3.4 but it didn't alarm okay i guess i'm having a low blood sugar i could feel like i was dropping a bit but i didn't feel like the low blood sugar but they're both telling me that i am i'm gonna go check on my actual monitor 3.8 so yes i am low the only reason i think that the freestyle libra 2 didn't alarm is if i've been low for a long time now i've just woken up so maybe i didn't hear it but both readers, Freestyle Libra 1 and Libra 2, do have a drop in the early morning. So I'm guessing I've been low for a while. I've just woken up. So maybe I'm only feeling it now. But okay, yeah, they're both reading the same anyway. Around 3 point something for a low blood sugar. So I'm going to go and get some sugar and I'll talk to you guys in a while. Hello, lunchtime check. So it's like 5 to 12. I'm working from home. 8.4 on the Libra 1. Oh. Oh, right. Got a signal loss. So I'll just say yes. And then it says check your glucose anyway. 9.1. I had a low blood sugar this morning. You saw that. So that's why I think I'm a bit higher. So I will take a correction to bring that down. But they're, they're pretty accurate. Double check on the monitor. 9.3. So that means actually the Libra 2 is a bit more accurate. But about around 8 or 9. So that's good. I'll show you what I'm having for lunch. It's so hot. So I just... I normally have like a soup, but I just can't have that. It's 17 degrees today. So I'm just having like cold things. I'm going to have some fruit. And then I have these gosh sausages. So they're like veggie plant-based sausages made out of chickpea and that kind of thing. And then a baby bell. So probably not too much insulin. I'd say only like three, four units with the fruit. 
and that includes my correction. So, doing good so far. We'll check later at dinner and I'll see you guys then. So, it's like three o'clock and I'm really hungry and I wanted to have a snack of these Trek bars that are gluten-free and vegan. And they're 20 grams of carbs, so I wanted to check my blood sugar first before I inject. Now, I've checked on both and you can see they are pretty much the same, 5.2, 6.2. You know, one and the difference doesn't really mean anything, but you'll see that my whole graph is gone. And I think this is because, see the little time symbol? I knew the time was wrong on the two of the monitors, so I changed it so they would be the exact same to make it more obvious when I'm showing you on the video. But I think I messed it up because now half of my graph is gone. So at the end of the day today, we'll just have to judge by this graph. So far, same direction because they're pretty accurate. But it's just a bit annoying that it did that. So maybe that's a tip if you reset the time, the whole graph for the rest of the day goes. And it does it for both. So, But I will see you guys at dinner. Going to go have my snack now. Okay, hello everybody. It is later on. Let's do a check. We have... Five, really good and we have 5.6 so they are really good they're really really similar and we don't have much to go off like I said but you can see that the two graphs are the same so overall which do I think is better <laughs> it's really hard like I do think you could see that there was differences in accuracy between the two but sometimes it was like the freestyle libra 2 that was more accurate and sometimes it was the freestyle libra 1 that was more accurate so it wasn't like either was more accurate than the other advantages of this is that you could have your blood sugar readings on this itself and also on your phone but you can't do that with this one but then obviously the huge advantage of this is the alarms that we saw go off at the start of the video for the low blood sugar and there's alarms for high blood sugar too so i don't think one is more accurate than the other obviously you use your blood sugar monitor to find the true reading when the blood sugar is around like five six seven the readings don't really vary that much. It's when there's like a high reading or a low reading that you could see the difference between the two. That's my general opinion. I don't think in terms of accuracy one is better over the other, but I will say the one I prefer is the Libra 2 purely for the alarms. I do really like that you can use the Libra 1 to have it on your phone and a reader, but that doesn't outweigh the benefits of having alarms. Like you can just have way more reassurance if you have the Freestyle Libra 2 because you know if you have a hypo, you'll get an alarm. And then the opposite end, if you have a high blood sugar, you'll get an alarm for that too. And you can tailor it like one person's low blood sugar alarm reading might be 4.5 and another person's might be 3.8. So you can tailor it to suit you, especially if you're having like sensitivity issues. So that's why I'd pick the Freestyle Libra 2. But that is them both. I hope you liked my video. I really, really want to see what Freestyle Libra 3 is like when it comes to the UK slash Ireland. I know it's out in Germany, but it's not out here yet and it's not approved on the NHS. So we'll have to wait and see, but maybe it will be even more accurate and maybe it will have better alarms. Who knows? Because I haven't seen anything about it yet. But thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you all next week for another video.